stick it in. Oops, my dissection hall experience was nothing like that. In fact, 99.99% of actual medical students' dissection hall experience will not be like that. Those are only the exaggerated scenes in movies and other series. Hi everybody, I'm Kaveri. I'm a third year medical student in BGS Global Institute of Medical Sciences, Bangalore. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, I happen to be the first one in my family to take up medicine. Most of my family members are either engineers or they uh, are doing something related to commerce. So, I did not have any first-hand experience uh, told uh, to me by any of my family members and everything was just fresh. Okay, so I had heard vague stories like you will puke, you will faint no matter what, the room stinks and you, your apron will be, you know, soaked in blood by the end of your dissection hour and what not. I had heard like hell a lot of stories. But in reality, all uh, very few of these things actually happen. Uh, I know a few people might feel pukish. It is not uh, because uh, uh, they see dead body and feel pukish. It is mainly because of smell of a chemical called as formalin. Formalin is used to uh, preserve dead bodies from decomposing and it gives that vague smell. And it also stings the eyes. So, uh, so many students, you know, face this, uh, you know, watering uh, eyes. And uh, so many uh, students might feel very weird in their first or second day of dissection hall because uh, so many students wouldn't have even seen a dead body before and everything will be very new to them. Uh, one thing that freaked me out a little bit in my first two days was sitting around that naked dead body. Okay, so what happens is in the first one or two days or uh, a week maybe, we will not be asked to do anything. We'll be given a set of instructions and cadaveric oath sometimes. After that, we'll just be made to sit around the body to get accustomed to it. Okay, so they bring the dead body. The dead body will be covered with a white cloth. They open it and make us sit around it. I still remember mine was the third dissection table and we were about 15 to 18 students. This happens in all the colleges. They are like 15 to 18 students who are assigned with one single body. They sit around it for a week, get accustomed to it. After that, there is dissection. Okay, and um, on my first day, I was not scared. I was super duper excited. All my friends were excited. And in fact, uh, none of the students from my batch actually fainted. So most of the colleges give a name to their cadaver and I don't know, in my table we did not give it any name, I don't know why. And what happens is that, um, okay, first what happened after one week, I, Manvita and two more boys were asked to dissect our body. Firstly, we start with the upper limb and uh, pectoral region. Okay, so we had to di uh, dissect the pectoral region and I actually thought that the body would be soft but for my shock the body was not very soft when I touched it it was not it was hard actually okay so we had to put in little extra pressure to cut through the layers we cut the skin and the superficial fascia deep fascia this fat and one thing that actually freaked me out throughout the dissection and what was not my favorite part was the amount of fat that the bodies had Okay, the, I did not know that the fat would look like that, the yellowish fat, droplets and all that. Uh, I'm not telling this to demean or disregard the body, but it is actually like that. That was my least favorite part in dissecting. But whenever I dissected, I always got this surgeon feel and I was very, very happy. Okay, so as days went by, we loved dissecting. Okay, so sometimes even if we have wanted to, uh, you know, bunk some class, we'd always make sure that it was not dissection. We would bunk theory and attend dissection because we loved going to dissection. If I have scored good marks in anatomy, I owe it all to that cadaver and mine uh, was male cadaver because, you know, when you dissect and see all the organs, the nerves, arteries, the muscles and the cores of each of these, you'll get that pictorial, the visual memory and it stays with you throughout no matter what. Okay, now if you ask me something in anatomy, I won't be able to tell you what is there in the book. But I will be able to just imagine what I saw there in that organ and I think I'll be able to tell you what it is. You know, that fantastic dissection is, 
okay and even now i remember holding heart and lungs in my hand and heart see all the borders all the edges the apex and everything you can see so clearly and that's why i love dissection but uh, there's one more thing okay you can't see everything when you go to a dissection hall there are some organs very small organs like pons or medulla or eyes and you can't appreciate all the features in these organs so if you're thinking that i learn everything by seeing organs or the cadaveric uh you know body it is not possible because you will not be able to appreciate very fine details and you have to imagine certain things uh, that way and in my dissection table we were 15 to 18 people as i told you and everyone can't dissect a body on a single day right so two of us would be assigned to dissect uh, the body each day and we used to uh, dissect so it went on like that so first we started with upper limb then we did lower limb and then we did head and neck then neuroanatomy the brain after that we did thorax abdomen pelvis like this so these students who are assigned to that particular body will be dissecting on that body throughout the year and they'll learn from the same body it is not like you'll get one one part from one one body you will get one body and throughout the year you'll have to dissect from it okay even though if you are not someone who will actually uh, like to dissect or something but after you go and after you actually start dissecting uh, you know you will be so happy doing it okay so many students will be actually very tensed or they will be freaking out to go to a dissection hall but uh, as you start dissecting you will enjoy the experience and every second that you spend in dissection hall will be worth it and as i already told you you cannot appreciate all the fine details in very small organs and there is a youtube channel called as in animated anatomy i and my friends use the channel to study a lot of dissection and stuff and it really helps the course of every organ is explained so beautifully in the channel and i think uh, if you watch that channel it will help you on the, on the long run and in so many colleges there's something called as dissection you know table party they go to party after they finish each a part or something and yeah, my college did not have it and i think it will be a lot of fun if you have and i think i have got one or two dreams in the beginning about my cadaver getting up while dissecting and stuff i think it happens to so many students um yeah that's all this is my dissection hall experience i definitely want to know your dissection hall experience in the comment section below and as i told you every second that you spend in your dissection hall will be worth it and you will carry those memories throughout and you will remember everything in anatomy just because of that body so always respect that body because you are learning from it that's all until next time bye bye